Good afternoon, dear learners. Today we will consider the principles of the implementation of the PCR analysis method for educational uh, purposes. For example, the Mikan gene. We will analyze it, the theoretical part and the protocol of work in the last lesson. You had to repeat uh, the principles of carrying out the PCR for today's lesson. Uh, let's remember and get down to the practical part of the work. Please, Aman Sharma, you have the floor. Good afternoon to everyone. Today I am here to explain about the Mikan gene. As you know, there are many factors which can cause cancer and one of the three factors is the Mikan gene. Mikan gene is the second most reason which causes the cancer in the children below the age of 5. The Mikan gene amplification causes the neuroblastoma. Now I will tell about the function of the Mikan gene. Mikan gene can, can be suppressor or activator. Now the, if the, there is the Mikan gene amplification in the children, uh, it can cause the disturbed cell cycle. Otherwise, the Mikan gene is uh, responsible for the DNA repair and the apoptosis. The apoptosis they program cell death. Now, if if it get disturbed, it can cause disturbed cell cycle, which cause the uh, huge division of the cells, which cause the uh, uh, formation of the tumor in the children. Like if there is one cell in the children and the Mikan gene get disturbed, it will, uh, the cell will divide into many uh, cells and it will cause the tumor in the children and this uh, tumor will multiply and cause uh, the cancer in the children. Now the, neuro, the neuroblastoma mainly affects the adrenal gland in the children and other portions are the uh, uh, the throat cancer, stomach cancer, and the lung cancer. Now, the reason for the uh, Mikan gene amplification is, is found to be the pro prognosis, that is, when the disease not, is not cured fully, and uh, the second is the uh, the the introduction of the oligonucleotides. Now, the in this class, we will dis discuss about the Mikan gene amplification in the two in the two human cells. Now, these human cells, these two human cells are the S H S Y F Y five Y, and the second is the Kelly cell, Kelly lines. Now in, in our experiment, we will take four test tubes uh, and we will put these in the test tubes. We are having the solutions of that and uh, these materials in, in our lab. Now we will take four test tubes. Now, in the two test tubes, we will introduce the SH, SH, SY, 5Y and the two test tubes, we will introduce the Kelly lines. Now, the first, the first two test tubes will have the gene mycin and the, the second two test tubes will have the gene timion. The timion is the control primer cells. Now, then we will form, the, then we will mix the, it with the PCR matrix. Now we have to form the PCR matrix. There are the two types of PCR matrix we will form. The first is the PCR master matrix and the second is the mycin control matrix. Now we will form these in our, in our lab. Then we will mix with the, the test tubes and we will homogenize them. Now the then afterwards we will do the PCR of that solution. We, how to do PCR that we have learned in our last classes. We will PCR for them for the uh, first test tube for the 5 minutes, second test tube for 30 seconds, third for the 30 seconds and the fourth for the 10, 10 minutes. 
then we will perform the gel electrophoresis and we will see some bands which will confirm the confirm the presence of the mechanism the, the the band should be like this and if we will visualize in the uv radiation it will be uh, band should be such and this the, the bright lights will show the presence of the mechanism now why the study of mechanism is important it is important because if we form some uh, oligonucleotide antisense and we introduce in the children it will decrease the size of the tumor and also it will the reduce the ch uh, ch chances of the uh, cancer in the uh, children so it is important to learn about the mechanism gene About your step, can you explain about it? Yes, sir. We are telling <coughs> you about the gel electrophoresis, and we can see these bands on these uh, tubes. And um, we have to mix the suction and discharge, and uh, using a micro uh, micro pipette, and then we make a four PCR tubes and tube one contains FH. Uh, DNA and NFM premix and tube 2 Kelly DNA and NFM premix and then mycin gene and FH gene. Then we further uh, proceed to PCR with the different cycle, 40 cycle, which include different different temperatures. And then we uh, move forward for gel electrophoresis. We can find the different types of band, four different types of band using our. How many percent? Three percent acro. Three percent. Three percent acro. Eight dB. This is cry, borate, and ADTA. From 0.5 x containing ethylene bromide, 0.5 microgram per milliliter, which is used for fibrin green. And then we add 1.1 microliter of loading buffer. And then Subhash. Okay, okay. Ethidium bromide is a dye which is actually used to separate out the DNA and to view it in very easy, easy form in the gel electrophoresis and this is a basically a stain of orange color which we have to use. Breaking of hydrogen bond, which uh, we all know that DNA have a double helix model, then it will break down, and then there will be two standards, two standard, and then in the next step, uh, their protect uh, tag pro polymerase um, tag polymerase enzyme will make the second strand of the DNA, and which will which will make the other strand of DNA, and then it will be we can also say that it will copy or uh, there will be a new DNA formation. So it is also known as that, and then sir. Oh, it's right, Aman. Sir, in the PCR there are mainly three processes: that is denaturation, and the annealing, and the extension. And and we are, now we have done the denaturation. Annealing is the addition of the two compounds, and extension is the uh, we increase the number of them. So this is the uh, PCR, and we use the tech, uh, the enzyme tecmol polymerase in the process of. Anything. So, this is the first and then here we put it.
after PCR analysis we are further towards gel electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis is the process uh, by which we can see the uh, fragments of DNA on on, uh, on a um, gel electrophoresis material. We can now prepare 3% agrose gel in TBA drive and OROF and EDTA uh, 0.5x and which containing ethidium bromide and uh, 4 fiber green and which dye fiber green and diluted 10,000 x and then we mix 1.1 uh, microliter of loading buffer uh, to the 10 microliter of PCR product we have that get from that PCR and then we load 4 microliter of mixture in barrel of uh, agro gel migrate into 0.5 x TB at 100 volume of 25 for 25 minutes and then we visualize the result under a UV ref because UV ref is necessary for uh, visualize the result it gives us orange color the DNA which is, uh, which is negatively charged uh, it is negatively charged we put here by micro pipette and then we pass UV and then we uh, flow of the current then we flow of the current and pass of the UV and then we can finally see the, our final results that we have seen on this uh, the different different type of bands we can see ok who can help you? maybe Dixit? no sir no? <laughs> who wants? Anand, you can you use this props? You need put on gel electrophoresis. Okay, sir. These four, sir, first. Yes, These four should... props I have put. In. Yes, yes, yes. In the wells. Yes, yes, yes. Anand. Okay, you can say him what he need to do. How many microliters? One point one microliter of loading water. Thank you.